Hello, I am center stage and I am blurry. Swing, come on over here. Oh, hi, there we go. What is this thing? Is this a magic window to another world? What is it? Hello? Hello, can anyone hear us? Swing, I don't think anyone can hear us. Um, this is um the camera. We're gonna make a video. <gasps> we're gonna be in a video? Yeah. Oh, so cool. All right, we're just testing out the microphone. Again, so boring. All right, well, I can't wait to uh, do our video. And um, this will be fun. We're gonna make a, um, a mic um, not a microphone, no. We're gonna make a merry round <laughs> Or a carousel, as I like to say. Okay, well, test it out, Miss Heather. Okay, there's nothing to do here. Mm -hmm. And these babies are bored. Yeah, we're bored. We're bored. Ugh. Are you okay? Yeah. What? Um, Aurora's and uh, Aurora's mom is Aurora's mom. Do you think Hi. you could help us? Maybe uh, come up with idea of something to do. I think we can. Aurora, you want to help me? Uh, do you guys want to do a? Do I want to do a craft? Yeah, 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 yeah. A craft? You mean like paper? Oh no, 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 no. Like uh, something you guys could actually write on. <gasps> A, a craft we could ride on? What do you, what oh, do you think? Oh, look at those zoo animals. Zoo animals? Yeah, there's some zoo animals over there. And a merry-go-round. Merry-go-round? I don't what see a merry-go-round anywhere. Oh, okay, there. Oh, okay. Now, uh, what are we going to do with these babies? I don't know. I don't know. I thought there was a playground here or something. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's we nothing. Did. There's nothing at all. Yeah. We're, we're bored. We're bored, bored. Yeah, yeah, boardy, bored, we, bored. We want to have fun. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, fun, 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 I, fun. I know, I know. I do too. What? Hey, girls. Um, me and Aurora might be able to help you. Really? Yeah. Would you like to make a ride? Um, yeah. Make a ride? Mm -hmm. How do we make a ride? Look at those animals. Animals? I don't see any animals. Well, they're over there. Huh? Oh, you mean those over there? You want me to bring them closer? Uh, yeah, yeah. What are, what are they? Oh, we have. What do we have here? <gasps> a zebra, a zebra! We have a zebra. Oh, a zebra? I can't ride the zebra. It's not real. Um, I, we also have... Can I hold that? Yes, of course. So we're always going to hold the zebra. Wow. Ah, we scary. have a tiger. It's scary. We have... An elephant, 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 an elephant. elephant. Swing, you name this next one. A lion. We have this lion. Lion. Rawr. I want to fight the lion. And do you remember what this is called, Swing? Hippopotamus. Close. It's a rhinoceros. Oh, yeah. It's a rhinoceros. Yeah. All right, so uh, what are we going to do with all these animals? What, you just pop on them or? No, no, no. Yeah. I have something. I thought maybe we can make a merry-go-round. <gasps> a merry-go-round? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a merry-go-round. Yeah, me too. You do? Too. How are we going to make a merry-go-round with all these animals? And I I don't understand. Well, I um, found I found something in the trash the other day. And I thought, you know, I'm going to make something for the dolls. It looks like a merry-go-round. I'm going to bring it over here right now. <laughs> all right, so we're going to make a carousel? Are you serious? Like... Like a, a real um, merry-go-round? Yeah, real, real. Yeah, watch. Okay, let's move these animals out of the way and I'll bring the big part. Um, okay. Okay, here, I'll just get them. Look, she's standing up. She was standing up by herself. Wow, Swing, you can stand up all by yourself? Well, well I was, but now I can't. Really. Let me try. Ugh. We can't really stand up very well. Oh, what the? What gibbs? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, little boy next door. She said we're boy next door. Wait, who is this? Who am I babysitting? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what his name is. I forget. I um, Yellow Safa Bay's brother. Yes, I can pretend oh. this is Yellow Safa Bay's brother. Okay. So this is called a Lazy Susan. So this here, girls, is called a Lazy Susan. A, la a lazy Susan? What's it for? Well, you put at parties or at dinner time, you put all of your condiments on top and on the bottom, or maybe some, um, maybe you're having a tea party and sugar and cream and all that stuff. Yeah. And then uh, everyone just spins it around. Whoa. 
Oh, I could totally see how that's gonna be a merry-go-round, but we need animals to put on it or or something. That's what those animals are for. Those animals. Yep. We have to go get those animals. I'm gonna go get those. Miss Heather. Yeah. Would you mind getting the animals for us? They're a little bit too heavy for me to and for swing to uh to pick up. I can. Last time I picked up real animals. You did? What happened? Did I bite you? No. I did nothing. It was just looking at me and then I put it down and it just walked away. Oh, it did? I just walked away and then it was just staring at me when I walked away. Probably thinking, what did that girl pick me up for? <laughs> what kind of an animal was it? It was a... <laughs> it was a... It was an elephant. You picked up an elephant? What? I think she's joking. She's got to be joking. I, you know, I actually picked up an elephant. Yay, yay, carousel, carousel. I can't wait to ride the carousel. Well, it's not ready yet, but we're going to get it ready right now. You girls stay here, and I'm going to get the animals. Can I get? Mm-hmm. Uh, Aurora, would you like to set them up? Mm-hmm. Rawr. Rawr. Oh, I'm gonna be a merry-go-round ride. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna be the merry-go-round ride too. I know you thought the wow. <laughs> We're setting them up on the very, very tippy top. Okay, now that's not where they're gonna go. They're gonna go underneath. You mean right here? Yeah, right under here. And uh, this looks kind of whoa. All right, this looks a little bit plain though, Miss Heather and Aurora. What are we gonna do? Can we like jazz it up some? I'm glad you asked. Whoa, you really can lift up elephants. <laughs> I don't told ya. Wow, she's strong. So what are we gonna do to jazz this up and make it look more like a carousel and less like a lazy I can't Susan? Do ah! <sighs> I wasn't going to scare you. You did scare me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I see how this is going to work. Okay, so you're going to help us turn this into a really cool carousel for us and the babies? Last time I went on the carousel. You did? Mm -hmm. Me, Lola. I yeah. went on the carousel. Was with it fun? Horse, with horses. Oh, horses. Oh, yeah. That sounds like fun. The thing is, though, is that no, we didn't have enough horses. That's a really, really great setup, Aurora. Yeah, that's like perfect. I don't even want to move it now. Swing, I'm what? so excited. Are we gonna help paint? Do you want to help paint? Can we ha can we help you paint? Yeah, yeah. I want to paint with a paintbrush. Yeah, you're gonna. Aurora and, and um, Aurora and Swing can help paint the design with the paintbrush. And my sister. Who's your? You. Oh yeah, I'm helping too. Uh, we're pretty good at painting, aren't we? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Oh! Then can I put the animals on? Yep, and after we're done painting it, we're gonna glue the animals on. But with a temporary glue, because Aurora might wanna play with these animals later. We're just showing everyone at home how you uh, make a, how you make a carousel with um, trash and some toys you might have laying around. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Um, can we go now? Yeah, let's and go. And then we're the big wall. All right, let's go to the big, great big world. We'll be right back. Let's, uh, don't forget the babies. Oh, uh, right. I'll get you a genie. Uh, I'm just gonna carry her. All right. I'm gonna carry her. Ah. Ah. I'm just gonna put Ah. Uh, I sent the girls away, and uh, we're gonna get started on this project. I thought maybe the babies would like to have a nice little walk. So I'm gonna start by putting these old placemats that I found because we don't want to get our table or wherever we're doing the craft on to get dirty. So the, and these are plastic and so they'll wipe off really easy. The next, of course, we need is our lazy Susan. Whee! And I um, went through our paint supplies and I found some white. I found some of this teal color left over from a paint project. And a little bit of this pink color. You can't see it because the can is so big that we used to paint Aurora's room. Um, so that's what we're going to use and we're going to get started. And I found some of these, um, we have some of these stick on gems that we'll use a hot glue gun later to stick on. Uh, I don't know where yet, but we'll find a place. 
I also have all of these stick on gems that are self adhesive. They're self sticking gems and uh, we haven't even gotten through half of them yet. And we've done so many projects with these. These are one of the best purchases at a drugstore I've ever made right here. These are all. And I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet, but I found some of this. I was digging around my craft room and I found some of this, this fringe here. I thought that would become cute. And no project of Aurora and Mommy's would be complete without this gold craft paint because we love gold, especially gold with pink. It's one of our favorite color combinations. Can't wait to get started. Yeah, me too. All right, bye. So I'm very excited about this and I think that the LOLs will be very excited about it too. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna squirt some of our paints out on these trays for Aurora and I. We'll go get the girls and uh, we'll get to painting. And um, hopefully this turns out to be really cute. Okay, so I went ahead and I did a couple of things. First, I blocked off where um, the different sections are gonna be and I just color coded each one so that, whoops a daisy, so that Aurora and I, when we're dipping into our different colors of paint, we know which triangles are which colors. I even did the bottoms. And instead of trays, I decided to get a handy dandy egg curtain so that we could put individual colors um, in each one. Hoping maybe um, it'll look super cute hi. with... Is that, hi Aurora. Hi. Aurora's saying hi to everyone. I thought maybe we could try something like that. But we'll, we'll try all different things and see what works out. I even have these little, um, these little gummy bears. Yes, go ahead. They're not real. Don't eat them. I'm gonna hand Aurora this carton here of beautiful plastic gems. And now um, we're gonna get started. So uh, please also during this video, please don't mind the mess. Is it ready yet? What's going on? This looks messy. Oh, oh no, 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 don't worry Center Stage. Um, this is just the beginning. We're gonna get painting and we're gonna start gluing and uh, decorating in just a little bit. Oh man, can I help? Yeah, well, maybe we'll see. Maybe you wanna sit and watch? Oh yeah, I'd love to do that. The creative process is fascinating. I think so too. Gummy, Let me go get the other girls. Gummy, Who's that? Gummy, gummy, gummy. <gasps> gummy bears! Look at how huge these gummy bears are. Ah, move out of the way. Oh wow. Can I eat you? Wait a minute. They're like zombie gummy bears. They're chasing me. I'm gonna go get the others and I'll be right back. Ah! Alright, so I've already started to paint one of the triangles. This is one of the pink ones. And I have this feeling that I'm going to have to do a second coat. This is a this is a wall paint that you apparently don't need primer for. So it says. So I thought maybe this would be fine. So we'll just see how this works out. And honestly, you guys, this is just a toy. <laughs> We're just, it's a craft. It's not serious. Hi. Oh, hey, little genie, what's going on? I want to paint too, can I paint too? Uh, please, 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 please. All right, I guess so. Do you know what to do? Mm-hmm. All right, so you take this paintbrush here. Which one? This one right here. Mm-hmm, that's big. Yep, and you dip it in the paint like this. Yeah, yeah, then what else? And then you do like this. La, la, la. La, la, la. I can do it. Can I have real paint? Please, 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 please. All right. Yes. All right. I'll be right back. La, la, la. La, la, la. This is fun. Mm-hmm. La, la, la. La, la, la. No, wait. Stop, stop, stop it. Why? I'm on the faster. And then it will go done faster until we can play. Faster isn't always better, little genie. Why not? Um, because taking your time is just a really good idea sometimes, okay? Oh, all right. Well, I get to play on it still, right? Mm -hmm, of course. Yay! All right, well, let's just start painting on the triangle that little genie was um, painting on. And I'm going to do all the white now. And after that, we're going to let it dry. 
And then the extra special fun part, at least to me anyway, is the embellishments. And that, my dear viewers, is where we get to put all the gems and the decorations on. And I love that part. So stay with us. Wow, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, I can't wait to see when it's all done. Can I touch it? No, no! Ah, why? It's probably still wet. Right? Right? I think so. Yeah, it's still wet, guys. Oh, hi. We weren't we weren't touching it or anything. I, I promise. I swear. No, but we really, really like it. It's looking really, really good. Wouldn't you say so? What do you guys think? Yeah, we like it. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to ride on a on a lion or a tiger. I'm going to ride on the elephant! Yay! The next step I'm going to do is take this glitter clear sealer by rust and we're going to spray paint this whole thing to kind of seal it and give it a glittery look. And after that, I have some of these laying around. I'm going to glue them all around the Z chair to give it sort of this fancy little old-fashioned look. There's something that I also I did I made these little saddles out of um, clay that I made in my kitchen so that the LOLs can sit without falling down. I'm not quite sure what color I want to paint them yet, but uh, let's demonstrate to you how well they work. Let's see if they do. Hey, this is looking pretty good. Oh, thanks. Do you think you're going to like it? Oh, yeah, I already like it. But uh, what did you call me in here for? Do you need me for something? Yeah, actually, I do. I made these little saddles for you guys to sit on the animals. That was thoughtful. Yeah, and I want to see if they actually work. Would you be willing to try one out? Um, yeah, sure. Let's set it up. Show me. Okay, let's do it. Great. All right. So let's get her into position here. Ugh. Ah, I'm being, I'm being mom handled. Sorry. It's all right. For crafts. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's see if she fits in this. Oh, it's going to be a little bit difficult with her clothes on. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, did I mention that they were wearing no clothes when I had these on, when I did this? So, uh, hmm. So what are you saying? We have to ride naked? Uh, no, maybe in pants or shorts? Uh, you didn't think this through, did you? No, I did not. But um, maybe um, we'll just try sitting you down even more. Like, oh. Sorry, center stage. And then maybe we'll flip her skirt up. Ah, oh, gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think this through. Okay, so. <laughs> maybe I should go back and make new seats that are big enough to hold them with their clothes on. Yeah, maybe you should have thought about that. Yeah, maybe I should have. Yeah, I think you just might have to do that. Yeah, maybe you will. Okay, so I have refashioned the seats to look more like barrel seats. So I've just been flattening it out in like a ball, or I mean um, a circle, rather, shape. And then I grab one of the animals in this case, we will grab Mr. Lion. And I've been just sort of setting it on and kind of molding it. Because I, 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 my thought is if they are perfectly aligned to the animal's back, when it's time to glue them on, they'll be a lot more sturdy. So I just mold it and try to get it into the shape that the last one is in. And um, when they're all done, and I will let them dry, and then we will paint them. Now, I've been just sort of testing this. Let's see, yeah, that kind of works. All right, that ought to work. What do you think? It's a little soft. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna let these dry, and then we're gonna paint them, but let's pretend like it's dry. Does that feel comfortable? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I definitely feel like I'm not gonna fall off. Okay, good, good. So when you hop down and I will finish with this and I'll finish with this and uh, when they're all done, you could try testing it out again, okay? Will do, I'm glad to help, all right?
Thanks, Center Stage. Bye. We are now at the part where I am ready, now that the shellac is all dried and I accidentally got some hot glue. We're going to hot glue this all around here. So I'm going to start by All right, now after this is completely dry and I don't think it's going to fall off anymore, it looks pretty okay, I think. I'll give it a little bit of a trim and we'll clear up all the glue webs, but I have just that amount left. Look at that. I don't know what I'm going to use it on. Maybe I'll do something, maybe I'll do something up on the top or maybe I'll just make a little hula skirt. Yeah. Make a little hula skirt for uh, one of the dolls. Do, 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 do. Very cute. Okay. Now that the hot glue is dry, I was going to, what I wanted to do was um, glue a few like, like gem or rhinestone kind of things. And one of the things I wanted to do was these little, I don't know if you can see it, these little tiny gummy bears. These, they're little plastic fake gummy bears. I wanted to put them, I have a few, and I wanted to sort of scatter them all around the top. But let me tell you about these things. She does not play with them often, but Aurora loves these things. And I know, I know that after playing with this carousel for a little bit, she's going to tear these off um, for her dolls to have giant candy bear candies. Um, so I, as much as I want to put these on, um, I think that I'm not going to. What I was... What I decided on instead was these beads. And I don't have enough colors of other gems because, like I said, I'm just working with what I have and what I've scrounged up around the house. So I thought a couple of these would look lovely just all around the top. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I will use a few of the gummy bears. Let's see. Let's do the... Let's do the clear beads first. Hey, center stage. Yeah, um, I've got a question to ask you. Well, yeah, what's that? Um, I was wondering if you could tell me your opinion on um, some music that I think would go good with this carousel. Do you mind giving it a listen? Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, here it goes. Hmm, it's kind of cute. It kind of makes me want to dance or spin in circles. La 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 la. All right, so I've got this um, gold leaf paint here. And I'm using it now to paint this wooden bead. And we're going to affix it to the top of the carousel so that you can use it to spin the carousel. Also, um, if I glue a this toothpick inside of it, I could put a little flag on top. And I think that would be just adorbs. So we're going to keep on painting this. And when it's dry, we're going to stick it right on top. Whee! Spin around, spin around. We're gonna stick it right on top of the carousel. And we're back. First, I just wanna apologize to everybody. Um, I have some paint and stuff on my fingers and even a little bit of paint in my fingernails. So I apologize for that. Anyway, I painted the ball. It's dry now. I even painted the toothpick that it was on. And at the bottom of it, I added this little pink bead. And I thought that I would stick it on like this where these intersecting lines are right there, I thought, and I just happen to have exactly six of these little teardrop looking beads and they will go all like a flower. So let's see how that looks. I really, really, really hope this works out, you guys. Let's put our glue onto the bead and we're off. And I'm just gonna hold it there until it dries. Give it a little, give it a little air. 
And now we're gonna put just a teensy weensy bit of hot glue. And I just burned myself, hooray. Okay, so unfortunately the only little tiny bead I could find was this little red one. <laughs> and um, so I'm gonna secure, let's see, oh yeah, the spins, I forgot. Hmm. So I'm just gonna put a little thread of hot glue all around the edge. I'm gonna stick my bead on and we're gonna press. There. So now I'm going to very carefully Fold it over itself, trying very hard to not get hot glue all over my fingers. Yeah, right. All right, let's try to clean this up a little bit. There it is. And I think when it's completely dry, I'm gonna um, cut it into like a flag shape. All right, guys. So it's been almost a week and um, unfortunately these seats that I made for the LOL to sit in are starting to crack. Um, I'm hoping that maybe a little hot glue will just reinforce it um, and just keep it. Sorry, my nails are dirty, it was gardening. Um, I also tried to use nail polish to paint these different colors, but it wasn't really working out so well. So what I'm going to do is I'm... I'm just gonna spray paint it um, gold because there's already gold on the carousel and uh, I think it'll match really nice. And um, so let's hot glue these cracks. I also let the kids play with them, which is probably not a good idea. They seem sturdy enough, um, but I'm just gonna reinforce them with hot glue. And when that dries, uh, we'll take these outside and we will spray paint them gold. All right. Okay, so here we are in the yard. It's a bit breezy today, unfortunately, but I have newspaper on a dry patch of lawn and my handy dandy spray can, and let's start spraying. Okay, those look, oh, oh no, those look fabulous. And um, after they're dry, I'm going to see if they need a second coat and we can embellish them and make them look super fancy. So I had a whole bunch of different things um, that I thought I would trim the seats with. I had these things and I had some of this, which looks nice, but I figured that might be too much gold. So I, I went with these instead, these little stick on gems. And um, they, we have a variety of colors and sizes. And I am going to just keep going on with different colors jazz them up these these like p lumpy potato seeds I, they look terrible <laughs> they do look awful I probably could have done a better job on them but this is where we're this is where we're at All right, so we're gonna let this dry, and after that we're gonna take um, the hot glue gun and we're gonna glue these animals to the carousel, and then it will be done. Okay, and um, now we're back. <laughs> in this um, clip, you might hear my daughter and her best friend from next door playing in the bedroom, which is just down the hallway, and um, my tripod just broke, so again. So now we're leaning up against a Tupperware container. So now, I'm going to glue this guy onto here. And I'm thinking I should just do his feet. Dabble do ya on your feety weeties. And I think we're gonna glue him, whoops a daisy, like right there, looks good. Oops, I think I don't like him there. <laughs> And where he's just gonna have to stay there because I just pulled off the paint. All right, well, it'll just have to do for now. For the sake of finishing this project, we are just going. Okay, so we're gonna turn it around 
And I'm gonna pick a different animal that's not gray. I think this tiger is good. And little dab on your feet, Mr. Tiger. Little dab on your feet, Mr. Tiger. I've got a humongo gap between, see this, they're all so close together. <laughs> so I think I'm going to um, take them off and re-glue them. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. I reset them up the way they're supposed to be. And unfortunately, I did tear a tiny bit of paint off of a, uh, the carousel bottom. This is kind of turning into a craft disaster. <laughs> I'm sure a few of you have been here yourself in crafting disaster land. So we're gonna just, where are we? Okay, so we're gonna do Mr. Rhinoceros again and poor Mr. Rhinoceros has glue on the bottom of his feet. So we're just gonna put some more on there and after this is dry, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to touch up the paint that I messed up. I don't think it should be that big of a deal. Okay, Mrs. Zebra. Oh, we're doing it again. Yes, we are. Oh, lovely. Second time's a charm. I thought that was the third time. Oh, good, I can't wait for that. Oh, I can. I think that we're just going to uh, stop right here. Okay, guys. So here, they all seem to be even. Let's go in the way we're supposed to. As a matter of fact, let's turn this on. A bit of a craft disaster, but it's all right. Well, girls, yeah. Oh my God, is this it? This is great. Oh, I bought some friends. Is that okay? I made it just in time. Hi. Oh, oh, hey, hi, uh, hi, hi, neon cutie. Are you guys ready to try out this new carousel? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, Moonlight, you take. The zebra. It's fun. It's fun. This is so cool. Wee. Wee. Woohoo. Oh, good. I'm so glad you girls like it. All right. Well, I guess our hard work paid off. And thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time. Bye.